Welcome to the Humanity Leadership Podcast. My name is David Wheatley. We're here to talk leadership in small, bite-sized and practical chunks. Enjoy. So this episode of the Humanity Leadership Podcast is another of our first Friday sessions. And if you haven't uh, come across our first Friday sessions yet, then the first Friday of every month, uh, we do a one hour session, uh, 12 Eastern time till 1 p.m. And anybody can join. It's all on Zoom and it creates a good dialogue conversation. But there's always a segment that we present just to get people thinking and talking about the right stuff. And uh, this time it's uh, my colleague, John Barrett, who's talking about leadership choices and uh, he's referring throughout to a model which I will put a link to in the show notes. And you can also go to humanity.com and you find the freebies page. You will find the four choices of leadership, which is what he's talking about. So that's there for you. But here's John. Great. It is super wonderful to be here with everybody. And uh, this is a, a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And I hope that I'm able to convey uh, what I believe is its importance and how it can really be something special in our lives and in our leadership. Um, so when you look at the topic, uh, leadership is choice, you know, it does sound so simple. So I want to juxtaposition, just a juxtaposition uh, our topic, leadership is choice, with this quote. And um, I'm going to read it. Leadership is not a person or position. It is a complex moral relationship between people based on trust, obligation, commitment, emotion, and a shared vision of the good. And I think, you know, the reason why I, I chose this one is because I, I love the way it, it really gets to the dynamic fabric of leadership. It's dynamic, it's living, it's nuanced, it's, you know, it it has vibrancy and um, layers and dimensionality and breadth and depth. And that is the reality of our role as leaders. Now, the reason why we go for leadership is choice is because in, in all of that complex, multifaceted experience uh, lies our choices that we make. And we believe uh, that you can look at leadership in so many ways, but a wonderful way to look at it, a powerful way of looking at it is looking at it through the lens of and the focus on choice. And then as we make choices, then we breathe life into and we shape and we form and we cultivate and um, influence this complex moral relationship that we experience in leadership. So every day we make myriads of choices, you know, in life and in, in our leadership. And the idea here is, is that <clears throat> how intentful are we about these choices? How aware are we of them? And, you know, how much are they conscious and, and purposeful? And so my goal in the next eight minutes is really to highlight this idea of intentfulness um, and the idea of uh, choice as a superpower of leadership and then some key aspects of you know, we make choices. Um, has anybody ever had the experience where you've been driving along and you sort of almost like wake up at the wheel and think, huh, how did I get here? I don't know if you've had that experience, but, uh, you know, we sort of are on autopilot. Right. And there's other times where, you know, we're driving and maybe it's heavy traffic and people are being jerks and we find ourselves maybe acting and reacting in ways that we think, OK, that's maybe not my best moment right there. <laughs> so um, those things happen in our choices and other parts of our life as well. And so, you know, are we paying attention or as a colleague of mine once said to me, you know, hey, John. You know, are you falling asleep at the wheel? Okay. So choice is at the heart of our of our leadership, our life. And the value of that is, is that it gives us back the power. You know, we take it back 
And then even though we don't certainly control life or our, or our leadership or our teams or our organizations, the one thing we do control is the choices that we make. The other great thing about choices is, you know, we can make a lousy choice one minute and then the very next minute we can make a great choice, you know? And so, you know, there's a freedom there. Um, and the other wonderful thing is, is that, um, you know, we don't label ourselves and limit ourselves and we don't label other people and limit other people, right? Um, it's one thing to say, you know, the person's a jerk. It's a very different to say, you know, that wasn't a great choice, <laughs> right? And I don't know about you, but in my life, I find that, you know, introverts can make extrovert choices, you know, um, people who uh, don't make a lot of great choices can make great choices. Smart people can make dumb choices. I mean, we can go down the list, right? <laughs> so here we are, making choices. So let's go forward. Now, I want you to think about um, the, a choice that you're proud of, the specific choice that maybe you shared. And I just want to ask um, this choice that you're proud of or choices that you're proud of, do they tend to be just about you or do they tend to be bigger than you? And if we could just really quickly, hands up for those people who say, my proud choices tend to be about more than just me. And that tends to be a typical thing, right? And thank you for the people who are using the emoticon as well. And, you know, somebody said to me once, well, John, the choice I'm proud of is I'm taking better care of myself, right? That seems to be just, just about me. And then I asked them, I said, well, why? Why are you taking care of better care of yourself? And the answer was, well, I want to be a better dad. <laughs> you know? So the point I would want to make there is, is that we are part of the greater good. And so even when you're making choices of self-care that you can be proud of, quite often that's the best gift that you can give to you know, the larger group and the, you know, the team, the organization, your family, et cetera. So first thing about choices, getting right to the sort of the element of them is why are you making the choice, right? And, you know, we're all part of something greater. So, you know, let's make it a greater good. Okay. Second thing about your proud choice, and again, we'll, we'll use hands up, um, either physically and or emoticon. Think about your proud choice. Is this choice being more about being comfortable, the status quo, the easy choice, or was it a choice that really required a commitment because you, know, you wanted to make an impact? Maybe you had to persevere. Maybe it took a little courage. Um, it, you, know, you had to lean into it. So for those of you who your choice showed a commitment to impact, hands up. Yeah. Okay. And last choice is when you think about your proud choice. Um, I'm guessing it involved a lot of times other people. And was it a choice that you really had to pay attention and think about other people, you know, who they are and what they care about? Or was it a choice that really, it didn't really matter about people? So how many people, the choice really mattered about people and it really involved thinking about and paying attention to other people? Hands up. Okay. So what we're getting to here is three major questions to think about as you think about being more intentful of choices. Number one, is it about the greater good? Number two, are you trying to have an impact, make a difference in the world? And number three, are you paying attention to being aware of and valuing the unique differences of the people that are engaged with, involved with, or impacted by the choice that you're making? Now, if we put that all together, we get to this place. Right, and there's a lot going on here. But this is, and we'll be happy to provide this to people, but this is just a way of mapping out those three aspects of choice, right? And the bottom line is, if we put together those three things, greater good impact and caring about valuing people, 
we are making transformative leadership choices. These are the choices that make the world, your world, a better place to be, right? Better for you and better for the people that you that you care about, that you're engaged with, right? It really takes those three. Now, there's other various different types of combinations of that. And so it's going to go here, right? We talked about transformative as being greater good impact understanding of people, right? And that's really where we win people's minds and hearts. But let's just take a different type of choice, right? And we're going to go down here, the directive. And that's greater good, its impact, but maybe not as much of an understanding of people, right? And you'll sort of see this idea of a traffic light, right? Go, stop, go, left, right, et cetera. So directive gets things done, but you may not win people's hearts and minds. So we have this, if you like, map of all the different types of choices that we have. And this gives us a chance to sort of think about and pay attention to what is the nature of the choices that we make. And um, what we find as we, you know, when we work with people is, is that if we're honest, we make choices all over this entire map, <laughs> right? There's sometimes where we're trying to be the puppet master, right? Bottom right. Sometimes we're the chameleon, right? We're just sort of trying to blend in and go, go along. Sometimes we're pretty passive, right? We're sort of, you know, shut down. Sometimes we're talking, oops, sorry about that. We're, you know, we're on our soapbox. <laughs> you know, sometimes we're a bulldozer, right? We have an impact, but we're not really paying attention to what's going on around us. And there's sometimes where we're, we're helpful, but, you know, we limit ourselves into how much we're going to lean in and make a difference. So three big questions, greater good, impact, and people. Last thing I want to talk about is how do we become more intentful, right? How do we get off autopilot? How do we get out of our habits, our biases, right? Our reactions. Um, and we, I would offer this simple idea of notice, stop, think and choose, right? First thing is to sort of really just is to notice, <laughs> pay attention to where you're at, right? Am I conscious? Am I intentful? Or am I an autopilot? Really easy to do. We're so, so, so busy nowadays. Second thing is to stop, right? It turns out that our higher executive cognitive functions are slower than our intuitive emotional, you know, reactions. So we have to stop and give it a chance for our mind to catch up and have a chance to then do the idea of thinking. And in thinking again, are we understanding? Are we considering the greater good? Are we trying to have impact? And then lastly, to make a choice. And I would offer this simple idea, notice, stop, think, and choose, is something that uh, you know, we promote and encourage people to think and apply for themselves. Um, and then it's also something you can do with your team. Hey, guys, you know, what's going on? Let's pay attention. How are we doing? Let's take some time to stop and reflect and to think. What's important? You know, what are we trying to impact? You know, how are we connected? Who do we impact? How are we impacted? Okay. Based on all of that, how do we make these best choices? Good. So a blast along intent, care, impact, people, know to stop, think and choose. Um, and we're going to hand it back to you. So that was John Barrett talking about the four choices of leadership. And if you're looking for more on that and you're intrigued by it, then uh, episode 57 of the Humanity Leadership Podcast talks more about the tool Notice, Stop, Think, and Choose. And then episode 10 uh, actually talks about the eight choices of leadership, which is when we add a uh, an extra dimension to the choices and start looking at how emotional intelligence plays into this. 
Uh, if you uh, didn't hear at the beginning, you can find a picture of the model, the four choices of leadership at uh, humanity.com in the free biz section. Uh, you also find it in our book, What Great Teams Do Great, with some more explanation of the four choices, the eight choices, and notice, stop, think, and choose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>